Matthew 6.26 is Jesus talking to his disciples, is Jesus talking to us today. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns. And yet, your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? My brothers, my sisters, and my friends, in today's society, it's very difficult to trust God. It's the hardest lesson to learn to trust God. We trust in our own means. We trust in our own strength. What does media tell, tells us constantly? Believe in yourself. Trust in yourself. Believe that you can do it. Whatever you set your mind to, you will do it. You can accomplish it. But what happens when we have no means and we have no strength left? Also, we trust doctors and medicine with all its technology and advancement. And yes, I'm thankful to medicine and doctors, but they also have its limitations. They can only go so far. And God has the final word. We trust scientists. We trust financial analysts and other forms of human wisdom. But they also have great limitations. We also trust in technology and all the amazing advancements that we as a race are making in so many fields. I can go on and on. We also trust money. And I have experienced that it's very easy to trust God when there's money in my pocket <laughs> and there is money in my bank account. Question. Would you still trust God if you don't have anything? Praise God. Praise God for those that say amen. My brothers, my sisters, Jesus Christ chose a little bird. Jesus Christ chose little birds to teach his disciples to trust God. He did not use wise people and the technology and the doctors and all the human knowledge. He pointed to a little bird to teach them to trust God. My brothers, my sisters, my friends, trust God. Trust Jesus. Trust God, the creator of the universe. Trust God, the God of power and might. Trust God, the faithful God of Israel. Trust God, the loving Father who has provided a Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ. Trust God with faith and confidence. God will take care of you. And I say it once again. God